Are you looking for a super fast localhost platform for WordPress? Studio by WordPress.com can be the solution. In this video, we'll show you how to develop local WordPress sites and share them through the cloud using Studio. It's free and easy to use. So let's start. First, let's visit the Studio website. Studio was built specifically for WordPress and you can expect a good performance from this application. If we scroll down, here we can see some of its features. Um, keep building, we'll handle the rest. So the first feature that we can see here is the demo sites. Using this feature, you can share your local host site with anyone thanks to the WordPress.com technology. Uh, super fast WordPress installation, dependency free building, one click admin, open your site anywhere, built by the biggest contributor to WordPress core. Okay. And here we can also read the docs. This is the docs. Everything you need to know. There's the FAQ. Okay. We already have downloaded this application. It's available for Mac and Windows. So go ahead and download the application for either Mac or Windows, depending on which operating system you're on. After it's downloaded, we can simply double click on it to install. Okay, and that was very fast. It's installed. So it's asking me to add a site name and it's written my WordPress website by default. I think this is good. We are going to keep it. It's also giving me a default path where my website should be installed. So I am happy with this path. So let's click on add site. And it's asking for a permission. I'm going to click on allow. And the application has already installed and launched my website just like that. That was so fast. Over here, we can see our website is live and running. We can also stop the website if we just click over here. Okay, it's stopped. And we can uh, start it back up just by clicking over here or here. Okay, so it's running back now. This is really amazing. Our website is here and we can see that one site is running. We can add more sites by clicking on this add site button. And over here, we can see our website is here. The theme that we're using is 2024 theme. And over here, we also have the customization options such as the site editor, styles, patterns, navigation, templates, pages. We can also click on file explorer to see where our website files are stored over here. You can see the WP admin, WP content, WP includes, everything is over here. Okay, we can also launch the terminal from here. We can also click on WP admin. So if I click over here, it's going to directly bring me to the WP admin page. You can see this is the local host URL and it directly signed me in. So that was really cool. So before diving into the site, I want to check out a few more things. If I click on open site, I can visit my site. Okay. And if I click on site editor, it's going to directly take me to the site editing page. Since we're using the default 2024 theme, it's using the full site editor. We can use this to edit our site. So we can visit any section such as the site editor, styles, patterns, just from here. So this makes your website building much more faster. Now, if I click on this share tab over here, you can see it's written share a demo site get feedback from anyone anywhere with a free demo site powered by wordpress.com so if you have an account in wordpress.com you can actually push your wordpress website that's on the local host to wordpress.com server using this method you can share your wordpress local host site with your clients with your colleagues just by sharing the url here it says share a hosted clone of your local site, push updates to your demo site at any time. So you can update your demo site anytime you want. Again, there's another important point. Demo sites are deleted seven days after the last update. So if you haven't updated your website for seven days, your site will be removed. But this is still a neat feature. You can now easily share your local host site with your clients. Now to actually push your site to a server in WordPress.com, we need to have a WordPress.com account. So let's go ahead and see how we can do this. Let's click on this log into WordPress.com. And it's going to bring me to this page. So I'm going to sign into my WordPress.com account. And then it's going to ask for your authorization. So once we click on the authorize, it's going to say this site is trying to open studio. So I'm going to click on open. 
And now you can see our WordPress.com is connected with Studio. Great. Now let's close this up and we can click on this Add Demo Site. And we're creating your demo site. So this demo site is being created and pushed to a WordPress.com server. Okay, so the demo site has been created. Here's the URL and it also says expires in seven days. Also, there's the option to update demo site and delete demo sites. So I can work on my website and then after I'm done, I have to click on this update demo site to push our updates to this server. Once you're logged in, you can see your profile picture over here. If I click on it, you can see our name will be shown over here along with our email address and here we can also see the number of demo sites that we are allowed to upload so it says one of five that means we can upload in total of five demo sites okay and if we want to delete or remove all of our demo sites we can click over here and click here delete all demo sites okay we can also log out of our wordpress.com account by clicking on this button all right that's enough of that now let's copy this URL and visit our site. And here it is. Here's the website. Now I can share this URL with my clients and colleagues so that they can view this site. Of course, if you are moving your site to a server, it's safer to actually change the username and password. So to do that, we cannot do it from here. You can see our username is admin and password is this. To be on the safe side, what you can do is go to overview, open your site from here. And let's go to the back end. And from here, we can change in our user and password. Okay. So let me actually show you. If I click on all users, we can see the admin is over here. If we click on edit, here you can see that we cannot change our username if we want to move our site to a live server it would be safer for us to change our username but you can see we actually cannot change the username from here if we scroll down here you can see under account management we can change our password okay so in that case it would be wiser to actually create a new admin user to do that we can click on this add new user over here and here we can add in a username, email, first name, last name, website, and create a password. So let me go ahead and quickly fill these up. Okay, so I have filled all these up. We don't need to put in our website details. And over here, you can set a password. If we click on generate password, a new password will be generated for us. And then we should actually copy this password and paste it in a safe place. Okay. You can also hide this using this button and for the next option which is send user notification you can keep this checked or you can uncheck it it's up to you if you want to or don't want to receive notification and finally the role if you click on this drop down you can see there are the wordpress user roles the subscriber contributor author editor and administrator so the administrator has the highest privilege where we're going to select this one and then we're going to click on add new user button over here and you can see our new user has been created now you can use the credentials of this account to log into your WordPress website. Now, if we click on the settings tab here, we can find the details of our website, which is the uh, site name. We can edit this site name from here, local URL. So this is the URL, local path, uh, WordPress version that we're using and the WP admin, here's the admin password and admin URL. So all of these information are over here. We can also delete the site from here if we click on over here. Okay, so let's open our site back up. Over here, we can see our site is running. Here, the SQLite database is being used. And if we visit our site, we can see everything is running properly. We can edit the site just by clicking over here. And we can add in themes from here. And let's say we add a new theme let's install the cadence theme now let's activate it okay now you can see that the dashboard has changed now we're using the cadence theme and since we installed a new theme let's also see how you can install a plugin so if i want to install a plugin i can click over here and click on add new plugin and here are lots and lots of plugins so if we click on the popular tab over here we're going to see the popular plugins over here 
So to install and use a plugin, what you can simply do is click on this install now button. And after it's installed, click on the activate button so that you can use the plugin. If you don't activate the plugin, you cannot use it. Now let's see, we are using the cadence theme and the customization options have changed. And the customization options are now the customizer, menus and widgets. So if I click on the customizer, it's going to open a new page where we can customize the site. So that is how you can actually launch your WordPress website on localhost using Studio. I think that this is a really efficient software. Let us know what you guys think about this application in the comments down below. We hope you liked this video and this was helpful for you guys. If it was, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more helpful videos on WordPress.